going on guys mobile carry news here and in this article it's it's stating that t-mobile is still top rivals in their 5g availability uh, from upload and download speeds now keep this in mind i'm just reading what the article is and it's technically still the truth to this and i uh, do know verizon is upping their game in 5g and they are catching up faster than i anticipated but you know just got to give verizon time you know they'll do what they got to do now, in this article, it says T-Mobile is still top tier. If we scroll down to the article, it says your odds of having a 5G uh, connectivity on T-Mobile is high compared to the competitors of AT&T and Verizon. But in my own opinion, this is true. But I think it still varies by location. Any location you almost go to, it does. you do have a 100% guarantee on T-Mobile out, basically outbidding the competition compared to speed test and, and uh, upload and download speed. But, you know, that's just T-Mobile. They got a head start and they're basically doing what they're going to they're basically doing what they're going to do. They're going to keep up upgrading the network, improving the sites and make sure that every area that they're in, it's top tier and it's basically up to par. Now, here are some results here. T-Mobile also retains a, a commanding lead in, in open signals download speed experience metric. And it says here that they vary from 139 uh, megabits per second versus 49 megabits per second on AT&T and 42 megabits per second on Verizon. Now, like I said, this is not for all locations. If you have a good connection on T-Mobile, depending on the state, city, or town you live in, compared to the other competitors as AT&T or T-Mobile, no, I'm sorry, as AT&T or Verizon, then that's what it is. You know, Verizon is still upgrading their sites um, and I can speak from experience too on this actually, because I actually went to um, I actually went to uh, Arcadia. I never been there. Um, it's it's pretty much like a desert. There's it's hot and there's no like you're so you're not close to the ocean. You have a lake, but like it's it's like a depressing lake. You why would you go in the lake? And um, I did a speed test and I got two hundred down and I think a hundred and something up. On LTE only. I will say that again. Only on LTE. And that shocked me. And I was like, wow. I thought this area. I don't know what the population is in Arcadia. In 2024 as of July. But the fact that I only got um, LTE. I think I got three to full. Almost full bars of LTE. Which is actually pretty good. Normally in that area. Um, if I had Verizon like maybe ten years ago, I could may I could maybe get like two say two bars of LTE, but it wasn't you know, it wasn't bad you know it, every I could still upload download everything and it was good but that area does see does need improvements overall. Now as you can now if I scroll down here, open uh open signals reports also breaks out five G only now keep in mind this is for five G only. The top one was basically for all four all all um. For all speeds, LTE and 5G. Now this is 5G only, and T-Mobile is the fastest, and the average of 226 megabits per second versus 150 megabits per second on Verizon. Keep in mind that is basically that is slashing half. But the fact that Verizon is realistically they are catching up. Like if you if like if like if you're T-Mobile and you have 226, that's pretty fast on megabits per, megabits per second download speed. And Verizon is 150; they are eventually catching up. And if you see here, AT and T, 142 uh, megabits per second, they are also catching up. So this is just the download speed. The upload for Verizon uh, is about 21. T-Mobile's is 18, and AT and T's third at 14. So, you know, there are some leads to all the carriers. Verizon could be a little faster on this end. T-Mobile could just blow a Verizon and at t out of the water and so on and so forth. So it really depends on location, but T-Mobile does actually have the most 5G and they are improving the service. It's just, you know, they're, they're 300 million pops in, in already, but they still got to improve more sites, increase that to 310, just increase it more. That way there's more con uh, connection everywhere, especially in 2024. The fact that the more people are using the device more than ever. Um, I didn't do much research. I didn't look at an article, but I do believe that we are using more, more internet and more data speeds, whether it be speed testing or uploading a video or watching content on the go. We are using more data than we were 10 years ago. So just keep that in mind. It is tech, it is the truth. And T-Mobile is basic, is still on the lead. 
uh, with the scores you can see down here on open sign on open signals consistently benchmark you're ranging from 80.6 out of 100 ahead of Ver uh, verizon 79 and at t 76 so you know technically this 5g race even though it doesn't really matter um all all, all the carriers in, in general actually want to have connection for everyone and everywhere in every uh all 50 states it's just you know that's where all the all the um carriers are right now and by july 2025 this article will be updated and this will be a different story t-mobile will either still be in the lead or verizon will actually catch up to them and it'll basically be like a neck and neck or if verizon is ahead by slight that will be that's basically going to be the end of that story but and you know t-mobile those continue high speeds reflect how uh, uh what is that uh bellevue uh washington i believe based on t-mobile's aggressive deployment the fastest reasonable far uh fast reaching mid-band 5g is marketed as 5g ultra capacity the C the C band frequencies AT and T and Verizon use for uh, offer similar performance and coverage, so it's almost all similar to all three carriers. It just you know it depends on a on a on a larger scale and the size of the population. That's basically my own opinion, but you know they got much more work to do. Um, that's base. Uh, we maybe we got to see what comes up in the future. Everything is being updated on a monthly basis to six months, so upgrades are still happening. Um, if you're still seeing um improvements no if you're still seeing issues with the network um then your air is most likely going to be uh upgraded later unfortunately but just give it around like five to six months you should see a difference if not then uh, some what well, i don't know what carrier you have but there's just issues with that but to see verizon however wins highest scores in open signals hybrid metrics uh, uh, assessing video live video and gaming experience on 5g so i guess that's verizon's uh trump card they have they have an advantage on on live video game experience on on 5g from uh, from 70.2 points 70.9 and 82.6 points out of 100 and t-mobile is ranked second in the category 67.9 68.7 and 77.9 and 18t of 6.5 6.57 6.69.68 .6 .6 so we each have their own ups and downs and wins it just all depends and as you can see here in the end of the article uh 18t Meanwhile, edges out its competitors and overall availability, which uh, what proportion of, of time customers have the network uh, have a network connection in the pace they're most com uh, mostly coming frequent with a score of 99.5 out of 100, just ahead of uh, Verizon's 99.3 and a T-Mobile's 98.7. So, all this is true. It's basically a hitter. It's basically an interesting conclusion I come up with. So T-Mobile has the most in 5G, but apparently AT&T still has the most in connection in LTE. The same with Verizon. Basically, Verizon and AT&T are still neck and neck on LTE uh, availability, and T-Mobile spots uh, the tops off on 5G. So, you know, this is just what basically the article was saying. I do hope to see what else T-Mobile has in store. Um, they are definitely uh, in the lead still for 5G after four years. And I'm curious to see how 2025 through 2027 brings out because that will be an interesting year. And it's closer than, than, I, than we think, believe it or not. But let me know what you guys think about this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos like this, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.